Knock noise during clutch engagement. Clutch engagement means when the operator of the truck pushes down on the clutch pedal and selects a lower gear and lets his leg or foot out to get the vehicle rolling. That is clutch engagement. During that period of time, there is a lot of strain and stress put on the vehicle because it's trying to get something that's in a stopped or still motion or state into a rolling or moving state. And it takes a lot of energy for that to happen. Well, energy in this particular instance means horsepower or the ability to move something. And we're talking many tons of weight that's starting from a standstill and we're trying to get it into a motion. So there, there's a lot of twisting and, and bending that's going on during that event. The stress is on the frame rails because it's trying to support this engine and keep it in its position, which is upright and forward. And it's trying to pull this big heavy load that is attached to it and move it forward. Well, because you have a crankshaft that is turning, it has an adverse effect on the body of material that it is turning within. So the crankshaft is turning within this block. So as it's rotating, it's wanting to twist the block too. It's wanting to move it in a circular motion as well. So being fastened to the frame rails, it's trying to twist that whole vehicle to side. So that's what's the twisting. If you have a broken engine mount, let's say, where this, this engine would normally stay where it's positioned in the frame rail, if there's a mount that is supposed to hold it there, but it's broken, the engine will actually lift up. It will actually twist in that frame. And what that causes then is by that engine twisting, it'll hit other parts that are underneath the hood, like say uh, piping or an air cleaner. It'll actually go up and it'll actually, because that engine's twisting, it'll actually go up and hit it. And that's why we, we're referring to noise during clutch engagement is when that noise is heard. And that will be the only time you hear it is during the engagement portion of the cycle. When you do the inspection, You'll have, usually this is a two-man operation. You'll have somebody in the vehicle, the brakes are set so that you, you can't move it, or if you do have a load on, you're out in a parking lot where there's no one else around, and you'll, act, you'll actually witness that engine turning. If it, it's gonna turn, and there is a limit to how much it can twist. If it twists too much, or you actually see it lift up and then drop back down, then that indicates there's a broken mount. And in that event, it'll come up and it'll hit things like piping, air, air cleaners, and things of that nature. Really, some of them have even been known to hit the hood. It'll actually puncture, puncture the hole in the hood. So when you're checking this, you'll see you know, the engine lift up and it'll fall back down again when, when the vehicle starts moving. If the mount is broken, it's a simple fix, just replace the mount. You're gonna to wanna to recheck it and you should have satisfied the uh, repair with the replacement. There should not be any noise. Of course, when you have the hood open, you're not gonna see necessarily the engine hit the hood, but you might see it hit the pipe or the air cleaner. And when you do the recheck, there should be no noise or no visible extreme movement of the engine and it'll be resolved. If the engine does not lift, that is not the only source of a noise during clutch engagement. If uh, you hear a chirping, clicking, sometimes knocking, what can happen is this. A gasket, say for instance, between the exhaust manifold and the cylinder head may have failed, blown out. An exhaust gas under that high pressure of combustion or exhaust will actually come through that failed gasket and make a noise, like somebody sharply whistling. But it can sound like a, a tick or a knock. I've heard, I've heard many different, it depends on how it failed and the size of the 
gasket that has failed that is gone and no longer doing its part. It can really be shrill or it can be a lower noise that is emitted from that leak. The same thing is true of a head gasket. You'll, you can hear a head gasket chirp when it is blown, when the combustion or exhaust stroke comes about. It'll actually whistle or make a noise as it's exiting where it should be contained. So it's exiting through a hole that's not supposed to be there because of a failed gasket. So those are two other sources of noise during clutch engagement. Uh, it'll either be the engine mount or it could be a gasket that's leaking.